rising close to the Mayo Roscommon border, the River Suck passes through Loch O'Flynn, a renowned trout fishing lake in North Roscommon. Well, Arnold, here we are on Loch O'Flynn, a couple of miles from Ballinlaw. It's a lovely lake. Could you tell us anything about the fishing on here? Uh, Bill, well this lake is about 300 acres in um, size, uh, it's a rich uh, limestone lake so with all the rich limestone lake it has good hatches of fly, um, it's an excellent trout fishery, there's wild trout uh, coming from the Clune Crin River here that spawn in the river just up from here which is the real source of the river Suck. Um, the lake itself then, it's excellent for trout and it's also augmented by stocking from inland fisheries. We stock the lake just to boost the, the numbers of wild trout caught here. What sort of weights would you get on here now? Um, the average weight here would be about a pound and a half to two pounds. Now there are fish three to four to five pound weight caught yeah, now and yeah. again, but generally around a pound to two pound weight yeah, would be the yeah. general. Apart from trout then, we also have uh, good stocks of pike here. Um, other fish include, um, there's all the species of coarse fish here, especially perch. Oh, yeah. And there's a good stock of eel here also as well. Yeah, yeah. I see there's a good few boats on the lake today, Arnold. There is, there's a good few boats here today, all right, Bill. Uh, generally what they do is they launch um, to the southern end of the lake. We have a slipway over yeah. there at the launch and they come out and they fish, generally fish the shallow areas here, all right. Would you have many competitions on uh, here? Regularly here on Sundays, especially now, there are usually boat competitions. There are a couple of clubs operating in the area and they have boat competitions here a lot of Sundays during the summertime, yeah. especially of the area. On leaving Loch O'Flynn, the River Suck heads east towards Castle Reed passing through the Tonalis House Estate, the ancestral home of the O'Connor family. In Tonalis, we're members of an organisation called Hidden Ireland, uh, which is a, a group of houses, uh, historic houses, which offer accommodation to guests to, to enjoy these houses in a very personal way. So we have four bedrooms, four of our main bedrooms here are given over to guests uh, who in the, in the spring and summer period can enjoy Clenalis to its fullest extent and Marguerite uh, prepares excellent food for them, uh, utilising the produce that we produce in Clenalis. But in a wider context, we also provide uh, self-catering accommodation and we've utilised the Georgian courtyard, which is attached to the old Clenalis house um, and turned it into four self-catering cottages. So there's a lot of things to do in the area, not to mention the fishing, of course, and, and the river Suck. The river then makes its way to Ballymore, an area renowned for fishing. I remember in my own youth fishing with my father on the banks of the River Suck. We've re-energised people with an interest in angling on the River Suck and we have uh, formed our angling club. They have a vision, they're developing their vision and liaising with other clubs and accrediting themselves in best practice and how to run a club and how to be strong in developing the River Suck because it would appear that one of the pieces of gold that flows along this part of the country through the green landscape is that River Suck. Now John, we just came down through Ballymore there. Um, uh, what, what sort of tributaries are in that area? Well, the Island River is the big one coming in there just at Ballymore. Yeah. And that's as big as the Suck itself. I mean, the Suck then is twice the size, I suppose, from, there, from here down. Great trout river is it? itself, yeah. Great, yeah. great nursery, great spawn. We did yeah. we did some work on that, up right up in near Williamstown. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it, it comes right down from there. It's a lovely area. It is, it is. Uh, uh, some ideal places for bank fishing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can see it yeah. all, all, the, all the way along. You're, the, the lily pads, a uh, fine stretch of lily pads and reeds there. I can see turf yeah. in, the di in the distance there. Obviously, there's, there's, there's fairly good access here, is there? Oh, there is, yeah, there is. It's, it's, it's nothing that can't be improved on, of course, but um, uh, the, the fishing, I think, is very good in this area. Uh, as you said there, if you look at the lily pads, it's real road country. Yeah, I think, yeah. think you'd be expecting to so find some big road here. Yeah. 
I remember a story actually where this lad came fishing with me and uh, uh, he was using his, his keep net and, and um, just as he was as he was uh, landing around, of course it was during breeding season and knowing fish and breeding they, they lose, the he lose their heads. Yeah. So he was just netting the rod anyway with the, with the net and just as he was another rod actually swam into the net. And so fairly sizable fish. <laughs> up to two pounds. Oh, yeah. Wow, well, that, that's big and you know they're getting scarce in, in areas but I, I suppose this area still has them. Oh, it has, yeah. 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 Uh, there's, a, there's a lake farther down, um, Loch Dew. And, uh, oh yes, a, a, a mile further down here, yeah. we, we'll be able to turn into Loch Adu and go right on up into Loch Long. Yes, yes. It's all accessible from here. And that yeah. particular yeah. lake now was always famous for rudd. Yeah. And the big rudd, they're, they're sort of going two or two and a half pounds. Yeah, and th there's tench there as well. Oh, there is tench, up, yeah. up, Especially up in Loch Long. Yeah, there's a fishing stand there as well, of course, on Loch Long, which is uh, ideal. Yeah, there's there's nice access to that, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's good, all right. But I, I think I think this is lovely. It's it's so scenic here, isn't it? It is. It is. You know? It is. It's very peaceful today. Now it's very peaceful. Yeah. You, you can hear the birds singing in you the can, background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We won't yeah. we won't try and name them or anything like that. Well, not them all. <laughs> <laughs> This is Loch Dew now. Um, again, this is like like I was saying about the, the, the suck earlier. Again, as you say, it's a haven for rudd. I'd say you could, you could have a, a wonderful day's fishing oh here, God, un, yeah. undisturbed here. Yeah, undisturbed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the entrance you were on about there earlier, John. Yes, that's the entrance yeah. to Loch Long. But just on your right hand side there, a few years ago a farmer put a load of bushes down there, and as you can see, it, it's actually built up now and it's created a an actual decent fishing bank. Create a nice little fishing swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resuming our journey just beyond Linsk, the Suk makes its way to Dunammon, an area with much for any visitor to enjoy. That's the famous Dunammon Bridge yes. and um, the castle, of course. There's loads of history with the castle. Oh, a lot, yeah. It's occupied by divine missionaries at the minute now. Yeah. Uh, and with the Irish wheelchair set up behind them there, and of course you have the wheelchair angling uh, facility oh just God, down yeah. the river yeah. here. Yeah, that's a did fabulous you, setup. Did you did you you get a chance to bring many of them on fishing trips? Oh, indeed we do. Yeah, we do it fairly often. They come and they stay here at the holiday centre in, yeah. in, in in Kushla, and um, I take them fishing. Very even good. though I'm even though yeah. I'm retired from the Irish wheelchair, I still work with them yeah. on the on the oh, yeah. fishing side yeah. of things. We're coming down to the uh, area now with all the fishing stands, but it's a great facility. Yeah, it and is. Yeah, it's, it is. it's well, quite close by. Yeah. yeah. That's the smatter on anyway, John. Is it? It is. Yeah. It's a. Small trout nursery stream. And that flows but down the, under the Roscommon There's Valley one little road. lake up near the top of it, and, right. and you get trout up to two pounds. Would you? Yeah. God. Coming in on the other side is the uh, inlet from Stoneham's oh, and yeah. Blacks. That's the Derry Hippo, wasn't it? It's the Derry Hippo. Derry yeah. Hippo, yeah. The Derry Hippo River. Um, is actually formed from uh, two rivers. One of them comes through Craig's at the bottom of the village. There is a lovely bridge there and it meets up with uh, another little stream which comes from Moat Lake, Loch Hoover, uh, as it's rightly known. Uh, they both form the Derry Hippo River. The Suk has been a huge part of our lives. For tourism, it's definitely probably the biggest draw that has brought people on holiday. And I mean, over the years, we've met people from Belgium, from Holland, from the UK, France, Italy. They come to Castle Coote for fishing and the same faces come back every year, which is a great sign. So it's, it's a great tribute to the river, it's a great tribute to the fishing, and indeed, it's a great tribute to Castle Coote. On any given weekend, most of the villages along the river will have at least one trad session in full swing to enjoy.
From tall tales, sad laments to tapping feet, the Sook region is awash with Irish culture. <laughs>